She was her daughter's carer, protector and only friend. But at 57, Rita Camilleri was killed in the most horrifying manner imaginable. The unlawful killing of Rita Camilleri on the 20th of July 2019 must be regarded as one of the most serious instances of manslaughter it is possible for any imagination to conjure. Jessica Camilleri decapitated her mother after stabbing her in the head and neck more than 100 times in their home at St Clair in Western Sydney. There was about seven knives I was stabbing her with. A few of the knives broke. When that knife broke, I got another one. She must have been in extreme pain and both shocked and terrified at what was being done to her by her own beloved child. During the trial, a jury was told the young woman was inspired by an obsession with horror films and was in a fit of rage over the possibility of being returned to a mental health facility. She immediately confessed to the crime. I just kept stabbing and stabbing and stabbing her and I, I, I took off her head. Due to mental health issues, a jury found Camilleri guilty not of murder but manslaughter. She was sentenced to 21 years in prison with 16 years non-parole. As the sentence was handed down, Mrs Camilleri's relatives began sobbing. From the public gallery, Jessica's sister spoke out, saying thank you to the judge. But Jessica showed no reaction or emotion in the dock. Today, she didn't even look at her family. Christy Teresi has previously vowed to never forgive her sister. Jamie McKinnell, ABC News, Sydney.